Now watch this question. This is given in gate 2000. They are saying that uh, this instance is given. Given the following relation instance, which means this one is given. Uh, which of the following functional dependencies are satisfied by the instance? Which means they are, they want us to take you know and observe each one whether they are satisfied there or not. They are not they are not asking which of the following definitely holds on the database. They are not saying on the database. They are saying which of the following is satisfied by this particular instance. That is the difference. Okay which means we are just interested in knowing whether this particular uh, you know uh, functional dependencies hold on this instance or not right so we are not talking whether they are right or wrong or hold forever or hold on all the relations in the database only in this particular table in this particular instance right and if maybe they might not hold true if you try to add even more you know values into this they are asking only for this particular instance that's it you know the wording is important that is why i'm just stressing on it okay now i'll see this so let's see this one holds or not x y so x y when 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 will it fail whenever there is a repetition of values in the x and y right for two tuples if you watch x and y 1 4 1 5 1 6 and uh, 3 2 one four one five one six and three two right so all the values are distinct isn't it therefore there is no way this one will get violated violation will be there only when there is repetition in the left hand side there is no repetition at all they are all unique no violation right and what about this z derives y so now let's see this uh, if there is any repetition on z uh, yes in z there is repetition these two are repeated and these two are repeated for these two particular values let's see the value of y so uh, for whenever z is 3 y is showing 5 and 6 right therefore this is enough to say that this doesn't hold true on this instance isn't it therefore uh, this this particular fd is not satisfied by this instance so this is not the answer right now let's see this one yz and x so left left side is yz so yz let's see if there are any repetitions 4 2 5 3 6 3 2 2 there is no repetition at all right so left side there is no repetition at all isn't it therefore there is no violation what about y was it 4 5 6 2 there is no repetition here here also right 4 5 6 2 there is no repetition here also so uh, since both the sides uh, there is no repetition on the left hand side definitely they will hold violation will be there only when there is repetition right so this one will definitely hold what about this y z derives x yes it is already true it holds what about x derives z see this x there is repetition and uh, you know 1 1 1 is there for a value of 1 given for x the value of z is uh, you know either 2 or 3 therefore this one doesn't hold right it is not satisfied by the instance what about this xz so let's see if there is any repetition in xz there is no 1 2 3 it is not repeated but 1 3 is repeated isn't it so 1 3 is repeated in values x and z now for the same values of xz y is having 5 and 6 therefore it is not satisfied so only only functional dependencies which are satisfied on the instance is this one okay Hi, if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I'll give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. 
after taxes and your cost of living you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year and in india the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs so your savings will be much greater than the salaries in india and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then lor guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join game of visas so the answer is we have 90 percent success rate 99 percent success rate and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go so now it is not just usa we guide to uk germany australia canada so we guide we guide students to all the countries we work with all the destinations and if you are interested in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494 555 454 okay thank you